See, there went the camera. Um, but that's fine. Just won't have it. And Elkhart Ground, Pilatus at IFC, ready to taxi. Pilatus, three clearance. Go ahead. Pilatus, clear to the Jackson Hole Airport as filed, maintain 3000. Expect flight level 28010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be 132.05, squawk 1335. Clear to file 328010 after 132051335. And we are ready to taxi. Taxi to runway, uh, well, your choice, 9 uh, or 18, wind 1607. I'll come at 2992. Yeah, we can take 18. We'll take 18. Clear to taxi to runway 18, and you may cross runway uh, 927 on route. Cross 9. And uh, two seven in route. Yeah, beta is available, and we'll test the brakes here once it's straight. Got that? It's good. Well, welcome aboard the Pilatus PC12, everybody. Uh, today we've got a flight from Elkhart, Indiana, out to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It's my first time out there, so I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, it's a contract trip for me, so all the end number stuff will be blocked. Uh, out of respect for the owners, um, but I. Picked up a private pilot off the street this morning to run radios for me. So now this is Dan. He's uh, he's one of the passengers today. He's a private pilot with instrument rating, so he's going to run radios, and should be a great flight. We're only going to have six knots of headwind heading due west, which is kind of crazy, and uh, pretty high ceilings um, out there in Jackson Hole. So hopefully we'll get some uh, good views of the mountains going in. But thanks for riding along with us, and it be a good flight. All right, clear left and right, and clear to cross. Right on. All right, I'm going to get the stick pusher. Interrupt box controls. Controls are free and correct. Pusher test is complete, and we'll do the fat eye fly real quick. We've got flaps uh, set 15 for normal takeoff. Amps are up. Oh man, let's start over with that. Flaps at 15 for normal takeoff. Enunciators got probes and takeoff config. Those are both normal. Amps are below 30 uh, charging. ACS put back in auto. And probes will come on. Windshield eats come on light. And flight idle will get me take the runway. Lights and yaw damp verified off. And Dan, I am ready. Hellcart Tower, Pilatus ready to go on 1-8. Runway 18, line up and wait. Line up and wait. All right, so taking the runway, lights will come on. If I gotta change your departure frequency, it's gonna be 11855 now. 1855. Right. Runway 18 cleared for takeoff on departure turn right, heading 340, maintain 3000, cleared for takeoff. Clear to go, runway heading 3000. Uh, Runway heading, clear to go 18. So right yeah. to 340, right turn 340. Right turn 340. All right, go flight idle on the condition lever. Pass is clear. And here we go. All right, power set. Over torque just a touch. Airspeed's coming up. 70, 80, rotate. Positive rate on the brakes. Gear is coming up. Okay. 
Okay, and we'll turn the odd damper on. Tax and landing lights come off. At least 400 feet, we are clear to the right. Clear to the right. Right turn heading 340. Now, do you video this the whole time or do you do so? Well, I'm take departure. You have a good one. Over to departure if you two. One to go. Summit departure, climbing through 2,500 for 3,000. Spot a summit departure, ident, climb and maintain 10,000. Ident, 10,000. Feel free to contact one mile southwest of the Elkhart Airport, and if uh, you happen to pick up the bases and tops, I'd appreciate a report. We'll pass it on. So, I, I record with all of the cameras um, up to cruise. Okay. And, and then I turn them all off except for one, and I do a time lapse. Okay. And then I turn them all back on for landing. Well. All right, I'm going to turn the prop on. Base is 4,900. Yeah. And South Bend, bases are about 4,900. Roger, appreciate that. Pretty thin. Yeah, it's not super dense anyway. It is unseasonably warm. Oh, isn't it? We're still plus four here at 6,000. It's January. <laughs> you know, we just... Contact Chicago Center, 120.35. 2035. 2035, I got it for you. All right. Chicago, Pilatus, climbing through 7,500 for 10. Pilatus, Chicago Center, climb, maintain, five with 230. 230. Uh, you're on a heading, correct? Uh, 340? We are on a 340 heading. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep you on it for about another mm, four minutes and I'll get you cut in if that's okay with you. Sounds great. Thank you. Down. Alana, clear direct your destination. Clear de destination for. He just gave us clear direct destination. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All the way to Wyoming from Indiana. Yeah. November, climb and maintain, solve with 280. 280. All right, 280 set. We've got direct Jackson Hole. Hey, can anyone hear us on guard right now? Pilatus, contact Chicago Center, 118.22. See you later. Thanks, guys. 1822. How's your ride? Smooth so far for... Thank you. We still are IMC, though. Yeah, maybe we're not going to get on top at 85 right, or 28 right now. Yeah, we might not. Connect Chicago Center, 127.77. 2777. Center, plot us 280. Chicago Center, occasional to continue with light chop. Take it west of Mississippi, then it should split up for you. There we're getting between layers. Yes. All right, so we're in cruise here at 280. Uh, we uh, opened the inertial separator. We're out of the clouds mostly, and it's uh, minus 40, so the chance of ice is almost none up here. You don't get ice when it's this cold, usually. And uh, we're getting 264 knots true airspeed on 378 pounds per hour, so pretty good. Book uh, true is 260. Um, looking at it, our route, um, the XM subscription on this airplane is expired right now, um, but we do have this GDL, uh, Garmin GDL 52 unit here in the window, so we've got it connected to the iPad. So looking out at our route, uh, we got cloud tops up right now. This is the 25,000 foot layer, so uh, most of it should be um, below us, especially once we get past about Sioux Falls there. Um, and there's some air mitts for icing and some mountain obscuration. Um, but by the time we get to um, Jackson Hole, it's supposed to be 6,000 foot ceilings. So it should be pretty good Chicago, Alaska, out there. Um, still probably that mountain obscuration will be there because you know, there's 13,000 foot uh, ceilings. And we just went into some clouds. We'll open the inertial separator just to be safe. 
Um, but yeah, it looks like a pretty good route. Um, we're kind of right in the tops here for a little bit. Chicago, hello, but, Delta uh, 1686. Should be about another four hours, three hours and 40 minutes is what we're showing. 1686, Chicago Center. And so, hope you guys enjoy the time lapse and we'll catch you on the decent. Right. Freezing uh, okay. Minneapolis Center, 134.25. Minneapolis Center, Roger, minor precipitation along your flight, next several hundred miles. Advise if you need any deviation. Contact Minneapolis Center, 128.67. Minneapolis Center, ready. All right, well, we climbed up to flight level 300 because uh, we kept coming in and out of the clouds. And uh, so we're on top now. But they're out there. And it is super cold. Don't throw me a good day. It is minus 44 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> if you remember from science class, minus 40 is where Celsius and Fahrenheit are equal. So it's actually colder than that in Fahrenheit. And uh, even though we're headed west, we've got a little bit of a tailwind, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's only five knots now. It's kind of died down. We were up to 15 or 20 knots of tailwind headed almost straight west. So. Making up for a little bit of time, November and we've got Charlie another uh, two hours and 20 minutes in route. Contact Minneapolis Center, 124.87. Minneapolis Center, Roger. Contact Minneapolis Center, 128.42. Minneapolis Center, thank you. Contact Denver Center, 132. 133.67. Sir, sir, welcome. Break, you know, 731. Never sir, I got your ticket. Thank you. Uh, the Pilatus has an auto fuel balancing system. When uh, one side gets uh, two segments more than the other, the pumps automatically come on um, to balance the fuel. And basically that, that forces a valve close, a shuttle valve, um, or a, not a shuttle valve, but a, a little flap close so that you have more pressure from Minneapolis, the side of the pump on, and then uh, the please, engine only burns fuel from that side and then still returns fuel to both tanks. But uh, since you're only burning it from one side, it uh, pulls that tank down to balance the load. So that's all automatic. Uh, a couple other things that are a little bit different in this airplane over mine, um, they've got some options that I don't have. They have the options for a checklist, which doesn't have a, a valid uh, file in it currently, um, but it has the option to have a checklist. And it also has the uh, cold weather tow warmer system uh, is right down here. And uh, it's got a little foot operated uh, switch and you can open up the heat to keep your toes warm. So, neat options for cold weather. Contact Salt Lake Center on 133.25. Salt Lake Center, you think I'm going to really want to approach Jackson? Quadrex, Joe Goss, Juliet, Oscar, Golf. Oscar, X-ray, direct Hamba, Hotel, Oscar, Mike, Victor, Alpha, direct Jackson Airport. We're going to be switching roles runways here after uh, in just a few minutes, so I'm going to give you a heading uh, to set you up uh, for that runway change. Fly heading 310. Clear direct Delta, November Whiskey, direct Jackson Airport. Welcome back everybody. That is Grand Teton Peak right there. It's uh, uh, almost a 14,000 foot peak. Cross at the North VOR at or above 14,000. Cleared ILS Zulu, runway 19 or approach Jackson Hole Airport. Cross Dinar at or above 14,000 and clear for the ILS 19 Zulu at uh, Jackson Hole. Thank you. 
All right, so we got that crossing restriction set in there. Salt Lake, November 500, zero, zero, November 1, 4, 5, 4, 000, 4, 000. And then we'll load the ILS zero, zero, in a second. November, and we are descending um, out of about 19,000. And we should zero, be landing zero, in about 10 minutes. Information Victor current. Dax now altimeter 2968, report Victor when able. 2968, we'll report when able. All right, we should be able to get Victor now. Jackson Tower, information, Victor, one, seven, five, seven, Zulu. Uh, what did we say, it. the alternative? One, zero, zero, at, tree, not, visibility, one, zero, statute miles, sky, clear below one, two thousand, temperature, minus four, two point, minus eight, altimeter, two, niner, six, eight, runway, zero, one, in use. November 565 Echo Juliet, contact Salt Lake Center 127.75. 127.75, Echo Juliet, good day. All right, got information, Victor. 2968, right? Yep, 2968 on the altimeter. They're still advertising runway one, but they're uh, working on changing to 19. How's the weather at Jackson? Talk now, thank you. Mountains are. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. November contact, Jackson Tower, 118.07. Tower on 1807. One to go. And actually, we can go, we're cleared for the approach, so we can go all the way down, set our bottom altitude at 6,000, or 6,500. Jack's Tower, Pilatus, at Dinar for the ILS uh, 19. So it's 1972, Jackson Tower, and we want to clear takeoff. Nine, clear for takeoff. You said it went real quick for us, got in. That was 1972. So it's 1972, wind calm. Thank you. Pilatus, Jackson Tower, report Wamru. Report Romnu. All right. And there is a speed restriction of 180. I, I have on mine at, at. Oh, yes, it is there. Yep, I didn't see that. Thank you. Yeah. 180 at Zibiv. So we're below that already. Yeah, we're already below uh, that. Is that the only one? I think so. Yes, everything else. Make sure I didn't miss anything else. The only towers we have to worry about are the ones made of rock. Yes. <laughs> so this is going to keep us on a three degree path, the, the VNAV profile here, okay. Will. Um, so once we get on to like, the final uh, approach course there, um, then I'll switch it over to approach, and it'll capture the glide slope. But I'm going to leave it on VNAV now uh, while we're flying around here. Uh, let's see, you got to verify the frequency 109.1, that is correct. And we'll put 115.4. Whoops. Coast 1972, contact Okay, so we would have to go, Mr. Yeah, for some reason. And everything else looks good. We're reporting WAMRU. Correct. I've got the runway in sight on the around that little hill mountain. I'm sure they would call it a hill around here, but flatlands of Indiana, we call that a mountain. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you guys quick. Uh, it gets so cold up here that it frosts over on the inside of the airplane. So, like all of this window usually frosts over, and the handle, and up around uh, the windscreen, and then it melts as we descend, and it drips on us. Check card 615, we ready, uh, reaching the end. Check card 615, Jack Tower. Traffic no, uh, pull out us about 10 mile final or so. Runway 19, clear takeoff. 19, clear for takeoff, check card 615. Pull out us, traffic beach at departing runway 19. I can describe the WAMRA call, runway 19, clear to land. 19, clear to land. All right, we don't have to call them at WAMRU. Right. So for our descent check, ATIS we got, ice protection, we got the inertial separator back open, power as we need it. There went my camera. All right, so we got ATIS, ice protection, power control, CPCS is good, delta pressure's coming down, approach, we've got altimeters set as we need them. 
and we'll get the Giffy P on final here. So we're intercepting the final, so we'll hit approach. Although I'm gonna hand fly this, so. All right, so autopilot's off. We do have glide slope and localizer captured. And we're gonna bring out power. Our true air speed's gonna be quite a bit higher than uh, what we would see back at Goshen. Yeah. Um, flying into rifle, flew into rifle a few, uh, well, a week ago. And uh, true air speed was 20 knots higher than indicated, so our ground speed would be quite a bit uh, different. All right, we're below 165, we'll go 15 degrees of flaps. And uh, I usually don't like to do gear and flaps at the same time. So as soon as flaps get in, we'll drop the gear. All right, flaps are done moving. We'll drop the gear. Beautiful country out here. Oh yeah. Wow. All right, gear is down and locked. Inertial separator is open. Flaps are set 15. Uh, we'll go 30 once we're a little bit uh, closer on shorter final, and then we'll land just with 30. Uh, yaw damp, uh, we'll go ahead and kick that off. Yaw damp and autopilot are away. Oh, uh, yep. Yep, I got it. And delta pressure is below 0.7. So we are all good. Even though our true airspeed is higher, we fly the same indicated airspeeds. Because indicated airspeeds are how the airplane feel. Go ahead and go 30 degrees of flaps for below 130. And I'm a little bit high. And I'm below 2278 over to Nora ILS 19 Zulu. 500. Report, Wamru. We are Our clearing the land Delta still. We got three green. back on glide, bring out some power and slow down towards the dynamic speed bug. Three greens cleared to land. Minimum. Grease it on. That ah, was a nice one. That was really good. Uh, turn left, Alpha 2. Uh, turn uh, right, Alpha, in contact ground. Alpha 2, Alpha, over to ground. What is ground? 21.8 here, maybe? Uh, 24.45, I think. Should double check, but that's what I should be in there. All right, left here. So it's already in there for you then. All right, so pretty icy. We'll take this corner nice and easy. And want to avoid using beta or reverse. Set at 353, uh, Jackson Tower, runway 19, clear takeoff. Clear takeoff from 119, set at 353. We're just going to the FBO, right? Yep. Jack's ground off the 19, going to the FBO. Do you have the right frequency, right? Ground 24, oh, 2455. And 2000. Temperature minus 4. Two point My minus bad. Eight. Altimeter. Bat two, finger down. I should have checked it. Eight. Runway 19. Over golf, Jackson, on ground. 
Yeah, sorry about that. We had the fat finger of the frequency there. We're uh, raid taxi to the FBO. Uh, the Alpha. And welcome to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Man, right that was on. a gorgeous approach. Mountains are awesome. Good flight. Uh, then the first half was pretty cloudy, so probably only the second half of the time lapse will be very exciting, but appreciate you guys riding along. If you want to see more Pilatus videos, you can subscribe to the channel. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when I put out new videos, go ahead and hit the bell notification, and we'll see you on the next one.